San Diego Comic-Con took over Southern California this weekend, and we were there on location bringing you the latest breaking news. But in case you missed us, here are five highlights from Comic-Con 2017. First up, let's get weird and talk about Stranger Things. The Netflix hit made its Comic-Con debut on Saturday. The cast and crew dropped one of the best TV trailers of the weekend. They gave fans a jam-packed first look at season two of the 1980s sci-fi thriller. And if you've seen the trailer, you know which thriller I'm talking about. Producers also promised that there will be justice for Barb, played by Emmy nominee Shannon Purser. Sticking with TV, Westworld also brought an impressive and violent trailer to the con. Of all the activations in and around the convention center, there was no hotter ticket than that of the HBO show. Fans lined up overnight, something typically reserved for Hall H presentations, to score a rare ticket to the immersive experience. And speaking of Hall H, Warner Brothers wowed the crowd with the first trailer for Steven Spielberg's Ready Player One. The studio also united the league, but not before Jason Momoa stormed into Hall H barefoot carrying a Triton. He flew in from filming in Australia to debut some brand new Aquaman footage. The entire Justice League cast joined him for a Q&A and the release of a brand new trailer. How many of you are there? Not enough. Did I mention Harrison Ford and Ryan Gosling were also there with Blade Runner 2049? No big deal. Marvel Studios brought another crowd-pleasing panel to Hall H, proving that the studio knows how to put on the best Comic-Con performance and how well they know their audience. First, they revealed that Michelle Pfeiffer and Lawrence Fishburne are joining the cast of Ant-Man and the Wasp as classic comic book heroes. Then, Black Panther and Thor Ragnarok brought the crowd to its feet with sizzle reels that seriously sizzled. The panel ended with studio head Kevin Feige showing footage from Marvel's mega movie Avengers Infinity War. This again brought the Hall H crowd to hysterics. And finally, the Walking Dead panel opened with a heartfelt tribute to stuntman John Bernecker, who died on July 12th while attempting a 22-foot fall. Showrunner Scott M. Gimple told the 7200 capacity Hall H crowd, we didn't know if we should do this panel today, but we wanted to be here for you and do something for John. The show also brought a very revealing season eight trailer that was met with rave reviews. Rather than celebrate its upcoming 100th episode, the cast and producers did the right thing by paying their respects and honoring the fans. For everything you need to know about Comic-Con 2017 and Leslie Goldberg, Boris Kitt, and Aaron Couch's list of winners and losers from the TV and film panels, check out THR.com. And I want to hear from you which piece of info to come out of Comic-Con has you the most excited. Be sure to let me know in the comments. I'm Tiffany Taylor for The Hollywood Reporter News.